In this video, I would like to explain the uh, allocation of a two-dimensional array dynamically on the heap in C++. To explain this, I would like first to start with a non-scalable approach that helps us basically visualize and understand what's going on. And then I'm going to use that approach to uh, uh, explain a general approach uh, that can be used in a general setting. So let's say I would like to create a three by four array of integers uh, on the heap dynamically. One way to think of a three by four uh, integer array is that it basically consists of uh, three single dimensional arrays. So the first dimensional array, the first single dimensional array has four elements to represents the first row of the two dimensional array. The second one represents the second row and the third one represents the third row. Now, if I want to do this in C++, this is just a single dimension array. So I create a pointer, I'll call it row zero, and I use the new operator to create this. And then I create another pointer, I'll call it row one to create this one. And then I create a third pointer and I'll call it row two to create the third row. Now let's do this uh, in code. Well, first I'll do the pointer, so row zero, equals new integer of four elements because each one of these rows has four elements. So this is going to create the first row. Now, one thing to note is that the individual element of this array, single dimensional array, is an integer. That's why this pointer that I need to use to point to this array is an integer star. So whatever this type, the pointer whatever this type of individual element, the pointer needs to be that type star. If this was double, then this would be double star. String would be string star and so on. Whatever that type, this is going to be that type star. So this is going to create the first row and I need to create two more, right? This is going to be row one and then one more, this is going to be row two. So this basically creates a two dimensional array uh, as three individual single dimensional arrays. Now, if I want to access, let's say this element, I want to assign it the value five. I first decide which row I need to hit, which is this one, row one. And then I use the uh, square brackets uh, and pass the index two because this is, you know, this is index zero, one, and two, okay? So if I want to do this, then I say row one, of two, and then I assign it whatever value I want, let's say five. Now, obviously this approach does not scale. What if I have uh, like an array of 100 rows or 200 rows? Am I gonna have 100 or 200 names, uh, individual pointers? That doesn't make sense. Now, when I have a bunch of variables that have the same type, so as you can see, this pointer has uh, or this variable has the type integer star. It's an integer pointer. This one also is an integer star. This one is also an integer star. So I have a bunch of variables that have the same type. C++ provides us with the concept of arrays to help us manage these bunch of variables. So I can uh, replace these with an array, right? So instead of having these individual pointers, um, I create an array of pointers. So let me just go ahead and delete these. And then uh, I will create an array of pointers. So I need actually three of these. And each individual element is going to be an integer star. So the type of each individual element is an integer star. So this is also an integer star, and this is also an integer star. And I'm going to use this to point to this, and I'm going to use this to point to this. Now the question is, how do I create this array? Well, uh, remember, like I said, when I use the new operator, I determine what is the type of the individual elements of my array. And then the type of the pointer that I use to point to this array is going to be that type star. So the type of individual element here is an integer star. So it's an integer star. So I'm going to say something like new integer star of how many elements I need? One, two, three. So this is going to be new integer star of three. But what is the type of the pointer that I'm gonna to use to point to this array? Well, if the individual element is an integer star, 
then the pointer is going to be integer star and then star so a pointer to pointers and I'll call this let's say 2d okay so this is going to create this array I'll call it 2d and then I can iterate over the array make every pointer point to a single dimension array so let's just go ahead and change this to this general more scalable approach so first I will create an array of integer pointers I'll call it 2d and the individual element is going to be an integer star and I need three of these okay so this is going to create this array and then I'm going to iterate over this array for each individual element which is going to be an integer pointer I'm going to use it to create a single dimension array so I need a loop because I want to iterate so I'm going to do for integer i equals zero as long as i is less than three because I have three rows and then plus plus i and then for each individual element now how do I know what that individual element how do I refer to that individual element well the array is 2d and then I just use the index this is going to be index 0 index 1 index 2 so uh, the array is 2d and the individual element is going to be uh, you know square brackets i so 2d of i for each individual one of these elements I want to create an integer array of four elements right so each one of these is an integer array of four elements so this is how I create a two-dimensional array uh, of integers by the way this allocation uh, you know conforms with the general format which is that uh, you know the individual element here is integer the type of this expression here is an integer star this expression here is an individual element of this array and its type is an integer star so integer the individual element is an integer the pointer is going to be integer star so this is how I create a two-dimensional array dynamically on the heap now from that point on I can just use it like I use any two-dimensional array so I could for example iterate over it I could just say for integer i remember when I iterate over a two-dimensional array I usually need a two nested loops right so i is less than the number of rows which is going to be three and then plus plus i for each individual one of these uh, I'm going to individual row or individual um, uh, single dimensional array I'm going to iterate over the elements of that array so integer j equals zero as long as j actually j is less than uh, the number of elements per row which is four then j plus plus and I could do something like uh, uh, let's say 2d of i so 2d of i refers to one of these individual arrays and then uh, the particular element of this individual array is going to be of j so 2d of i and j uh, equals let's say negative one that is going to initialize the array with negative ones okay oh I'm having a little mistake here I'm missing a semicolon um, now the question becomes how do I delete this remember this is created on the heap uh, because I'm using the new operator so these arrays are created on the heap so I am responsible for removing them or otherwise I'm going to be having a memory leak so how do I remove this two-dimensional array from the uh, uh, heap well if I start by deleting this I will lose access to these individual arrays and I will not be able to delete this uh, each one of these individual arrays so the way I, I delete the entire array is by first iterating over the individual arrays and deleting them and then delete this array so first delete the single dimension arrays of integers and then the array of pointers so how do I do this well I need to iterate for integer i equals zero as long as uh, i is less than uh, the number of rows uh, plus plus i and by the way I think I need to be consistent so I need to use this is plus plus j right to be just consistent um, 
So for each individual row, I'm going to be deleting that row. And the way I delete that row is by using the delete operator. And remember, this is an array, so I need to use the square brackets. And each one of these row, uh, each one of these rows is named 2D of i, right? So the the individual element of uh, uh, this array is 2D of i, which points to the row i, right? So when I delete this, this is going to delete the uh, corresponding row. Now, when I'm done deleting the individual arrays, I need to delete the array of pointers, this one. So to do this, um, once again, it's an array. So I'm going to use the array notation, the square brackets, and the actual array is named, the array of pointers is named to, uh, 2D. So this is how I delete uh, the array uh, uh, using the delete operator. I first delete the individual elements and then I delete the array itself. This is how I create the array dynamically on the heap. I first create the array of pointers and then I create the individual arrays. I hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, uh, see you in the next video.